students uh, welcome to our today lecture as we were discussing in our uh, previous lecture about human development index and we discussed that there are uh, multiple criticism on the human development index so in order to remove those criticism there were some amendments and some changes were being made in the hdi and uh, the new method <clears throat> for my the measuring the economic development is uh, stated as new human development index so basically it was introduced by undp in 2010 united nation development intended to address some of the criticism of the hdi as i mentioned earlier that the basic purpose of introducing the new hdi is to address those criticism which were or those issues uh, which were raised on the old hdi <coughs> uh, the index is still based on standard of living education and health so it mean that the indicators which were used in the old hdi the indicator were remain the same but uh, their uh, levels and uh, their measurement uh, variables are changed in the new hdi it has eight notable changes so there were eight changes were being made in the uh old hdi and it will become new hdi or new human development index so now let's discuss one by one each of them the first change which were being made in the new hdi is that in old hdi they used gdp as national income but in new hdi they have used gross national income or gnp has been used for the measurement of national income so in the old hdi they have used gdp for the income index and in the new hdi they have used gnp as the measurement of income index the second difference is that in new hdi the education index has been completely restored the new components have been added the average actual educational attainment of the whole population the expected attainment of the today's children so uh, in old hdi if a student uh, get enrolled in this uh, school and if he uh, drop from the school or if, or he he or she is not continue his education so that particular person is counted as educated person uh, and we do not uh, know that how many years of education he or she have so in this method uh there is a maximum minimum benchmark benchmark for the students to say or to a person who is educated is like 8 years or of schooling or 10 years of schooling the two previous component of education index literacy and enrollment have been correspondingly dropped as i mentioned earlier in in contrast to expected attainment literacy is clearly an achievement and even enrollment is at least a modest achievement however literacy has always been badly and too infrequently measured and is inevitably defined more modest in a less developed country and enrollment is no guarantee that a grade will be completed or for that matter that anything is learned or that student or teacher even attend as i mentioned earlier it so in summarize we can say that these all say that uh getting enrolled in a school is not important but the important thing is that how much year of schooling a uh, individual is having so uh if a person can only read or write his name we cannot say that that person is educated so for seeing any person is to literate we have to set a minimum standard that how much year of schooling he or she have so the next change which were being made in the hdi is upper the upper goal post in each dimension have been increased to the observed maximum rather than the given predefined cut off so as we see in the old hdi that there are maximum age limit and the minimum age limit similarly there is minimum age and maximum age so there were changes being made in that area as well in some ways the return the index to its original design which was criticized for 
inadequately recognizing small gains by countries starting as very low levels. The lower goal post for income has been reduced. This is based on estimates of Zimbabwe in 2007 that if the data and their interpretation hold up, represent a historic low for recorded income. So, uh, you, as you know that every country has its own criteria for deciding the minimum wage. So, in this scenario, the minimum wage rate uh, or the average minimum age uh, were redesigned. And the next difference between the old HDI and new HD is that old HDI have used arithmetic mean and in new HDI they have used geometric mean for the calculation of uh, HDI. Here you can see that the index is same like health, education and living standard and but for the calculation of HDI they have used geometric mean. In old HDI they have given equal weightage to all of these indicators like 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 but here they have uh, used geometric mean for the calculation of new HDI uh, but the interpretation of the old HDI and new HDI is same if HDI is close to 0 it means that particular country is less developed and if HDI is close to 1 it means that that particular country is highly developed and if the answer lies between 0 to 1 like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 so it means that particular country is developing so these are the major changes which were being made in the old HDI and we have a new HDI.